And since you're here, I would love to hear your thoughts on the evolution of 5G. Um, how would you define what is 5G in today's world? 5G on the carrier CSP or service provider side is really the cloudification of their networks. You see, um, carriers in the 4G LTE world and the previous generations before that were essentially buying into monolithic architectures, right? Fixed function network uh, architectures for the sole purpose of delivering connectivity and voice worked out really, really well. In the 5G standards, there's a number of new capabilities that are being rolled out in the essence of 5G, like network slicing, dynamic spectrum sharing, and, and others. And, and in doing so, they're really moving towards cloudified architectures. So everything is mostly microservices based. Um, there's a lot of uh, use now of open source capabilities. ORAN's a hot topic in this environment. So if the carriers are moving away from overtime, and moving away from monolithic like architectures to programmable networks, essentially. And in many respects, although they're not one to one, but in many respects, conceptually, the carriers' network environments are going more mainstream, similar to what the cloud uh, providers have done with their networks as well, in terms of supporting applications. So, as a CSP, you're moving more to digitization and cloudification of your network operations, which now opens up this whole new world of opportunity, not just in the sense of classic communication services, but also in how do you use that network to maybe support the software ecosystem. And that's where the edge to us is really, really exciting. Now, in parallel to that, and, and nothing to do with where 5G is going, uh, most software developers today are moving away themselves from uh, classic applications running in VMs, and they're moving more to microservices. Kubernetes is an example of that. Uh, and so there's these two patterns that are sort of converging, right? As carriers are cloudifying their networks and moving more to services uh, in microservices form, so are app builders. And the edge is a place where a lot of these new use cases are really going to play out. And the edge happens to be an area that enterprises are looking at as well for a host of new use cases that include robotics and drones and other new things. The ability to push out compute to where the edge is is, is vital and it's an opportunity that's coming uh, in, in a fairly big way. And the carriers are naturally just by service of their networks on the edge. Um, and so then we looked at that and said, well, how do you build a software ecosystem around that so that carriers can actually maybe expose some of their, their network capabilities and potentially even um, some edge services to, to developers who, as we've seen in the cloud world and as we've seen in mobile as well, have built uh, you know, great new applications and capabilities that have generated you know, trillions of dollars worth of of, of upside. And so we wanted to go build that software ecosystem because really the timing is right to do that today. And there really isn't a, um, an environment or a program that's really exploring uh, you know, that, that opportunity. So we felt that that was a need in the market that needed to be solved. So for us, 5G, again, just to recap, is, is really cloudification of networks. It's, it's a new pivot for the CSP world. And you're going to see that continue to proliferate in new standards that go on beyond 5G, like 6G and 7G and everything else beyond that. <laughs>